talk a little bit about what the campaign slogan used to be for President Obama when he was a candidate. Remember, it was hope and change. The president says that he is still using that slogan in the way in which he hopes to get four more years. So we decided to take a look back at the president's first term to see if it lived up to hope and change. to stand for change. When you decide it's time for change to happen, guess what? Change happens. Change comes to America. There is, of course, another responsibility we have to our children. That's the responsibility to ensure that we do not pass on to them a debt they cannot pay. I pledge to cut the deficit in half by the end of my first term in office. All of us need to act more responsibly on behalf of a better economic future. Hope has been the guiding force behind the most improbable changes this country has ever made. We cannot wait for good jobs and living wages and pensions. We can Jobs count. must be our number one focus. We know it's time to create the good paying jobs and jobs that pay well and can't be outsourced. Instead of concentrating on job creation, President Obama has concentrated on growing government. We are making progress. I don't put people on food stamps. People become eligible for food stamps. If you want to create jobs, the, the quickest way to do it is to provide more funding for food it's stamps. It's an honor to be a food stamp president. More people have been put on food stamps by Barack Obama than any president in American history. We are becoming a society that makes poverty more comfortable. Now we need to pass a rescue plan for the middle class. A plan that will provide every family some immediate relief to cope with rising food and gas prices. We don't have a silver bullet when it comes to gas prices. Exxon's making $40 billion a year, and we're paying three fifty dollars for gas. We can't just drill our way to lower gas prices. The American people are demanding a solution to high gas You've prices. You've seen how quickly the price of gas is going up. If you complain about the price of gas and you're only getting eight miles a gallon, well... You definitely need a hybrid van. The price at the pump is painful, but the agony doesn't end there. Gasoline prices have gone up, food prices have gone Faced up. Faced with soaring shipping costs, food suppliers and manufacturers are raising prices. It must be catching on because in these last few weeks, everyone's talking about change. I'm thinking about the Americans who are losing jobs and homes and their life savings. Hardworking Americans who deserve to know that their efforts have resulted in a secure future, including a secure retirement. This recession has not only led to the loss of jobs, but also the loss of savings. Having too little in savings places in jeopardy so many dreams. So much of their hard-earned savings have disappeared. 23 million people out of work or stopped looking for work. More Americans are out of work. Inflation rising faster. Motorists already feeling pain. Working age Americans actively looking for a job is at the lowest level in 30 years. Approaching fear will see those long gas lines of the 70s. And at the checkout line shows no sign of letting Prices up. for some of your everyday items shooting through the roof. Oil prices hit record the highs. Nation's debt continues to grow. And soaring interest payments on all this borrowing is slim picking for other spending. That's the power of hope. That's the change we seek. That's the change you can stand for. All right. Uh, hats off to Chris White, one of the producers on our team. He's been in a small editing room for the last couple of weeks, reliving the last four years.